So I just checked in not too long ago. I have a beautiful view. I'll give you guys a little tour of the the space. The only thing with this room is I'm pretty sure I booked a room with the bathtub and this did not come with the bathtub. I'm a little bummed about that, but it's okay. It's got its own little style. Of course, it's a boutique hotel. So a lot of boutique hotels have their own little feng shui. I'll give you guys a little tour. I have on a pretty little thing top. Um, it's kind of like a crop top not really <laughs> it's like a mock turtleneck and then my pants are corduroy they're from zara you get everything from zara and then i had just have on my yeezys which i pretty much pair with everything about 5 30 i am planning to surprise my best friend she does stand-up comedy um and she doesn't know i'm in the city so i'm gonna go just pop up at the show probably gonna run and get some flowers before i head there she's gonna be so shocked like she has no idea i'm here i haven't posted on instagram none of that so yeah i'm probably just gonna figure out something with my hair it just looks kind of flat fluff it up a little bit so i didn't end up doing anything to my hair i just put a hat on um only because it's freezing out so yeah why would i do my hair when i'm about to put a hat on anyway um but yeah i'm late I'm running a little late so i'm gonna get going i still have to run to the store if i have time and i'm gonna head down to brooklyn i'm in brooklyn it's like a nine minute walk i didn't even have time to stop i stopped at cbs to try to find flowers and they didn't have anything okay i'm here I'm keeping my mask up because I don't want her to know that it's me. Okay, I'm about to run up on her. It's her. Oh, wait. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Literally dying. <laughs> My hands are frozen. <laughs> I'm so oh, surprised. Oh, Riley's gonna go up next. I saw a guy Comedy, baby. And make hey! It's a Monday! And we're in a park? And we're watching comedy? This is weird. This is very weird, right? Yeah, this is strange. This is... Anyone single in here? Yeah. This whole... Everybody? Okay. Is this where? Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Is this like a single anonymous group? Anonymous. Anonymous? Single anonymous. Is that how you say it? A anonymous. Single? Help me. You. Ano I knew you were smart. Today is 
election day. Yes, it's election day. And by the time this video comes out, we will already know who the president is. I know you guys are probably thinking, why is this girl in New York City during election day? This eye is full. This eye is not. Please don't judge my lashes. Anyway, I'm here to show you guys what the city is looking like during the pandemic, during election. Everything is pretty much vacant right now. I'm gonna take you guys on a little journey. I'm gonna hit up some restaurants and maybe I can do some touristy things I've never done. Haven't really done all the touristy things that tourists do, even though I'm not a tourist. We're gonna see what's open, what's not open. A lot of the touristy things are probably closed. So we're gonna just take a look. I'm gonna get dressed. pastry box from my hotel I will say it's pretty weird being in the city and staying at a hotel and like not going back to my apartment it's strange so this is pianos it's like a they serve food and but it's also a bar slash like little lounge it's a few stories it doesn't go, I don't think it goes all the way up to the top but I used to come here all the time and it looks like they're closed down. I don't really know if they were open during the day though. So pretty much every restaurant in the city has outdoor seating now. This place across the street, Bell Fries. Their outdoor seating is there. And then the little path here is so tight for cars to come through. So basically the outdoor seating takes up all the space. This is Serafina. Their food is bomb. There's even some streets that are just completely blocked off. They're kind of catered to the outdoor seating. The Tenement Museum. It looks like they're only open on the weekends. Maximum of 25 people. Wow. How do you even stay in business? So I've been to this restaurant, saw us. It's like an Italian spot. They have all outdoor seating. It's actually kind of snazzy. Both sides, but it doesn't look like they have any customers. What time do they open? Maybe they're not open yet. This is the ramen spot. It looks like they're building outdoor seating. Pretty dope. The only thing is, how long will it last? Because it's about to be winter. bitter. It honestly tastes like straight kale. Like usually when you get straw, I got strawberries and apples. Usually you can kind of taste the sweetness, but this just tastes like kale juice. But I'll drink it because it's healthy. I definitely had to throw that smoothie out. But I'm about to go hit up this breakfast spot. It's called Cornerstone Cafe. Their food is so good. Hopefully they're open. Um, I don't even know. I didn't look online or anything. I'm just gonna walk there. Okay. The outdoor seating popping. I got French toast with some fruit on top. And I got potatoes. I don't really mess with blueberries. So I'm gonna take them off. Everything came in to go containers because this is how they do it. Everything is to go, but you can choose to sit down and eat if you'd like to. I've been here many times, so I already know the food is good.
shocked at all the places that are boarded up. It's kind of creepy. I'm coming towards the MoMA. I actually used to work at the MoMA Museum and I wonder if they're even open. So it looks like they're still open. Just taking precautions. I wonder if they're gonna board up the MoMA. Even Microsoft. All, pretty much all of the stores on Fifth Avenue, this is Fifth Avenue, are boarded up right now. It looks so vacant. These streets are usually packed to capacity. Look at the coach store. People are still going inside, but they're boarding everything up. They're really not playing. Like, what is this? I don't want anybody messing up the plans. Look at this. Wow, people are like giving the car a finger. Got news reporters. Hey. This is Nobu 57. I used to work here. This used to be my first job in the city when I first moved. Look, it's boarded up too. Should I go in and say hi? I feel like there's all new workers. They probably don't know me. It looks nice though. A little outside setup. They really finesse. Everything over here is boarded up. I know Benihana is back there. But yeah, looks crazy. So they wouldn't let me through. They literally blocked this entire street. You can't even walk through it. This is insane. I'm gonna hop on a bike and ride towards Columbus Circle. I've actually never ridden a city bike before, so wish me luck. Okay, so I'm on the bike. I look crazy because I have my GoPro. But it's okay. All right. This might be a little shaky. I don't want this to fall. To make sure I'm going the right way. So I'm gonna head a little uptown towards Columbus Circle. Right now, I am on 59th Street. on the other side of the street. Everybody is so bold. I'm scared to run over here. Back in the LES near the hotel. I'm at Van Leeuwen. I've been here before, but I've been to the one that's in Dumbo, I think. Um, I don't really remember what I got. I don't even know if I got vegan ice cream, but we're gonna try it out. See what flavors they have today. Okay, so I got two different flavors. I got chocolate chip cookie dough and cream with caramel squirrel. Um, I will say that the chocolate chip cookie dough has like a salty taste to it. I don't know if I like it. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the caramel squirrel. I don't know, I don't really like caramel that much. But I wanted to try something new, so. I'm not bad, but. I don't know if I would ever get it again. I really wanted the pistachio, 
but they only had it in the pint size. So I went and got my car. I checked out of the hotel and I'm headed back home. And with this election, I don't know what's gonna happen. I know that people are plotting and that's why so many different places are boarded up in the city. So I'm gonna try to get home before dark. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do because a lot of places were closed and it just is what it is. I'll be back soon.